Okay, this is now January the 16th, and this is episode 8 of the 5-Minute Tarot. And this is a kind of continuation of yesterday's um, presentation, because we were dealing with the Seven of Pentacles reversed. And if there's all sorts of meanings of it, but let's say it represents somebody who isn't interested in or isn't willing to think things through, okay, because the card shows somebody contemplating, but you turn it upside down and maybe it represents or shows somebody who isn't interested in thinking things through. So we don't know if this is good or bad, so we'll look at the next card. And in this instance, we're saying the next card is the Hierophant, okay? So you've got this instructor person up here and you've got the two people down below who are listening to the lesson, let's say, or or paying attention to what instructions are being given or what explanation is being given. So if the Seven of Pentacles reverse shows somebody who doesn't think things through, is it going to be okay? The answer is yes, because it's followed by the Hierophant. So the Hierophant shows some, okay, you're going to do the right thing because... Uh, you, you. It looked with with the high priestess. I was saying it can be that you develop a con a connection with your inner teacher, let's say, or you meet an outer somebody in the world who's going to teach you. With the hierophant, it looks like the same kind of idea, only you're going to find it in a group. Okay, so it's as if you're going to take a class, and in the class things are going to come together and you're going to know what direction to go in. Or you're going to take a class that's going to be terrible and then you're going to realize what direction to go in. Because we can, we, we can, as somebody once told me, you can learn as much from a bad book as you can from a good one, right? Because you can, you can find that the kind of information you're getting isn't really what you want. And that puts you in a stronger position to know what you actually do want. Okay, so with the high with the hierophant, um, you you need to make decisions and you don't know what to do. But because of the hierophant, you're going to meet other people in your situation and you're going to learn from them, or you're going to join a class or join a group that will guide you in the direction in which you're meant to go. At the same time. With the Hierophant, we've got, it's easy to think that with the Hierophant that the questioner is one of the two people down below, that they're on the receiving end of the wisdom or the knowledge. But because we've got two roles, we've got an instructor and, and students, let's call them, in the picture, then the questioner may have to play the role of student, but they may also have to play the role of instructor. So... If you're not sure what to do, or if you can't make up your mind about what direction to go in, then maybe find a group or start teaching what you know. Because they say that they, some people say that the best way to teach something or the best way to learn something is to teach it. Because you've always got to be one step ahead of the students. And that means that you're motivated, you have to, um, find out or think about the objections that people will have and come up with counter arguments against those in, um, objections. So if you're, if you're doing a demonstration of something and somebody says, okay, how do you do this? You've got to know in advance. Okay, somebody might say, how do I go about doing this? And then you, you know what you have to find out so that you can stay one step ahead of the students. Um, I don't know how long I'm taking here. The Hierophant. That's something about the Hierophant. Two roles to play, student and teacher. Which one are you going to be? Or are you going to be both? Or what order are you going to be playing the roles in? Do you start off as a student and then you become the teacher? Or do you start off as the teacher, the authority figure, but then you realize there's an awful lot you don't know, so it's time to go back to school. Time to learn basic information or advanced information that you can then pass on to other people. Tomorrow, I'm going to pick a card at random. Okay, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye.